Hey guys, Joe here. It's been a little while since I've had a collection pickup video, so I thought I'd share with you what I've grabbed recently. Uh, starting off, uh, as you can see, Dr. Mario 64 for the N64. Super clean cart. So happy to add that. As well as I've got uh, WWF Attitude. Come get it. Continuing on with the cartridges. Uh, NHL All-Star Hockey 95. This one I'm neither here nor there about. It was one I didn't have, so I just picked it up. And ColecoVision presents Looping. And finally on the cartridge side, uh, one I didn't have for the original Nintendo, surprisingly enough, but one I did play back in the day, Tag Team Wrestling. So happy to add any sort of NES uh, game to the collection. Uh, continuing on with original NES characters, uh, su new Super Mario Brothers 2 for the Nintendo 3S, and you can see uh, this one is still sealed. Uh, this is courtesy of my uh, co-host Bill from STC Pod. Thanks for the uh, the bro price and the hookup on that. Uh, one non-video game related thing. I am a big Jim Henson fan, so I managed to pick up a PSP Dark Crystal. Even though I don't have a PSP to play my PSP games or to watch the movies on. Uh, let's switch to an older system here. A little bit of PS2 action. Uh, no particular order, LA Rush. Um, these are all complete. Uh, continuing with the car theme, Stuntman Ignition. So these are ones I've neither Actually, never even heard of or played, obviously. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Sagas. So that looks interesting. And haven't played any of the newer games for these Wolfenstein. So this is Return to Castle Wolfenstein Operation Resurrection. So I'm interested in getting on to these ones. Uh, I know I'm way behind in the series, but uh, that's fine. I'll get I'll get around to it at. Uh, one point or another. Uh, let's see here. PS3. This one's worth, I don't know, a little bit. I think this is about 20 bucks or change. But I'm not quite sure what it's about. But I just picked it up uh, basically based on the cover. It looked like it could be interesting. Okay. 360, I've got uh, some more demo discs. So I'm on the uh, hunt to collect all the demos. Didn't have this one yet either. Actually, I didn't have all these Shadow Mordor. So happy to add that. I had this only on um, PS3. So happy to get that. Did not have this one. Guitar Hero Warriors of Rock. And there's the song list there. So pretty interesting. I've always been meaning to get back into playing these guitar games. I really enjoyed them. Um, OG Xbox. Continuing with the Wolfenstein. You see I had the, uh, for the PS2 was Operation Resurrection. And this one is Tides of War for the original Xbox. So happy to add that. Uh, I picked this up because this was really weird. This one is extremely heavy. Like this is the weight of three games for some reason. But it's a two-in-one, Outlaw Golf and Sea Blade. Um, so obviously the golf, that's not golf attire. On the inside there is, obviously the two books, and then Seablade 
in golf. So, interesting little oddball one to pick up. And then Namco Museum 50th anniversary 14 arcade cast arc classic arcade hits. Sorry. So I've got a bunch of these. I just never get around to playing them, but I've always been meaning to. Uh, let's go to the Wii. Not worth anything, but I just picked it up because uh, it was an interesting Batman cover. And the video game. Uh, there's the gameplay there. I don't know if it's any good or not, but... And moving to the Wii. I found this loose, which is really weird. Super Smash Bros. Brawl. And this one's a double. Though it is missing the instructions, unfortunately. Or if it even came with them. But Twilight Princess, this is one I haven't played yet. And then this one I'm really happy about getting. The Collector's Edition Promotional Disc. So this one includes four classic games. And you can see here it's got, you can play Zelda. Uh, Zelda 2, Ocarina of Time, and uh, Majora's Mask. But it's all on just uh, one disc. So pretty cool. I didn't have that one, so happy to add it. And it's on the GameCube, so you can't go wrong with that. And finally... Save the uh, three, probably most, well, more interesting ones, I guess, uh, for the Genesis Aladdin. Uh, these I encased in uh, uh, plastic protective sleeves. But what I liked about these three when I picked them up is the games are extremely mint, like really pristine, so surprised about that. Uh, next we have another Genesis, Batman Returns. And again, complete and extremely clean label. So, it's almost like no one played it. For some reason. And last but not least, another Genesis, Ghostbusters. This one I do want to play. And again, super complete and impossibly clean. Sticker on the game there. Really surprised. It's like, I don't know, maybe they played it a couple times and that was it. So that's it guys. Uh, thanks again for tuning in. Hope you uh, hope you enjoyed seeing this little pickup video. I said it's been a little bit so I was happy to share these things with you. As always please remember to like, comment, subscribe and share. You can find me on Twitter at AC Decepticon and check me out on Instagram at My Life in Collecting. Thanks again guys for tuning in. Appreciate all the support and I will talk to you again real soon.